I have one last question, you know, based on everything that you've said. Uh, what do you believe academic career progression will look like in the future? Like, say, you know, maybe, I don't know, 10 or 20 years from now. Very interesting question. Uh, I'm not a palmist. Uh, I'm not a, uh, you know, it's a difficult question. Uh, when you look at the past 20, 30 years, and when you look at the next coming 20, 30 years, number one the greater emphasis of future will be interdisciplinarity. I mean, you should not be saying I'm a specialist of X and that's it. No, you have to be jack of many things rather than master of uh, one thing. So that is number one for the future that I'm looking at. Uh, interdisciplinarity is more important than, uh, you know, that it was in the past because everything is linked to every other thing. Uh, it's not very simple. Human health, for example, it's pollution. It's uh, uh, even today I was just uh, telling my family the plastic bottle drinking water have a lot of plastic in your body pieces, and that will take you somewhere. So this is one example. So that how we know that. So that if we are uh, having into the number two, uh, increasing importance of open science in future, that is coming up open science practices will be more common, like data sharing, like pre-registration of studies uh, will be gaining momentum. You have to register that what you are going to do so that people are knowing, and then if you publish, people are knowing that you are working for five years in such and such discipline, that is another one. Greater diversity and inclusion. Earlier, there were specialized people like uh, white-skinned people are they were shunning away the black skinned people for our gender. Women were really deprived of, uh, you know, uh, their uh, equal rights. Are, uh, we, we did not realize, i just give you one example. A female has more issues, uh, uh, like uh, they're looking at our children, they're looking specifically in developing country. So we don't take them on board in that way. We have to give them their due share. Uh, the thirdly, physically, uh, in 50 years of age, uh, their menstrual cycles and other is scientific. Uh, and we male don't re realize that if their behavior is a bit strange, we should you know, give leverage or space to them because it's a physical phenomena that occurs in that age group, 50 plus to 60 and all this, that age group. Uh, and we sometimes don't realize and, you know, they have to leave the job sometime uh, because of the pressure, because of we expect them the same behavior, the same timings, the same everything. So that's uh, diversity and inclusion, that we uh, respect them, we give them rights that they deserve. Uh, that's uh, the future. People will focus on it. People are still talking about it, but we should be more open in discussing these issues. Next would be the greater use of technology. As I said uh, in the beginning, uh, nowadays jet, chat GPT, you know, you put some question and you get everything. And now this is a blessings, you call it artificial intelligence, or this may be a challenge because again, uh, sometimes they are so programming that you cannot detect plagiarism, falsification, fabrication. They will write for you the complete article, complete book, and you nobody can catch it up. So that's the, and you may stop thinking, critical thinking, all this, because everything is coming in the plate. So that's another challenge that we, we human uh, should understand that how can uh, the digital tools, academic career, these technologies, that is coming in a big way. The more in the future, uh, people will be demanding society of our work on the impact, on the societal uh, impact of my work. That is in future people will be asking. So if you are an early career scientist, you should understand that your work will be measured in its impact on the society. Uh, and that will be recognized if you are doing it, if you are not doing it, people will be asking, why should we invest money on you? So your academic career should be focused on the societal needs, societal challenges, for example, climate change, global health, inequality, as I said earlier, 
these issues are more important in the future. Climate change is coming up very, very big way. Uh, global health, uh, you will have more pandemics. You will have more viral attacks. So we all have to work. So uh, what I will call it that oral in future, to summarize it, there are a range of factors. Uh, interdisciplinarity one, uh, collaboration two, open science, diversity of humans and work and everything, and inclusiveness of the society uh, and the societal impact, finally. So that will have kind of an impact on your future.